Hi, Ingutu here. Welcome to Bulela Podcast. In this episode, I am sitting down with Seya Funda Funda and we're talking about her musical project, Queen. This is part two of my episode 29 interview with Seya Funda Funda. And I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Um, just sit down, relax and get to know what goes on behind the making of an album, what inspired her, why this project is important and relevant and why I personally like it. I think I may have fangirled a little bit too much and, you know, just let you into what my music um, reaction will be to the Queen album. But anyways, let's get into the interview. Remember, Bulela Podcast is on Instagram, on Facebook and Twitter. If you're a musician from Zambia and you want me to react to your work, please don't be shy. Just tag me, follow me and I will get round to it when I can. Listen and enjoy my interview with Sarah Funda Funda. Thank you. Um, I will ask you my next um, question, okay? So what's the biggest challenge for you balancing your professional life as well as, you know, your musical career? You did mention that you, um, you know, you're in film, but if you like, maybe you could share and tell my, my, my viewers and listeners what you do. Um, so like I said, I create content, uh, creative content for, um, for different um, entities and, you know, different organizations so I do have uh, my media production company. It's called Color Coded Media. And, um, you know, it's a startup. And uh, we, you know, we do radio ads. We do different things. So um, that's pretty much like my, you know, that's my day job, so to speak. Yeah. But, you know, my dream is to make music, you know, be the main thing. Yeah. Um, hopefully, you know, soon. Um, but you know, that we, you know, we're still working to building, you know, towards, you know, realizing that, okay. um, uh, I think for the longest time, it's, it has been that thing of, you got to pick one, you know, um, it's either one or the other. I mean, it, it, depending on the season you're in, one will take over the other for a bit or for a while, um, yeah. at some, it'll, they will sort of interchange. Um, yeah. so it, uh, yeah, I think I would say I create I create content um, for for different organizations. That's what you, what what someone would call my my day job. Okay. Um, music, um, like you know, this coming week we're having rehearsals with my band. Um, you know, preparing for gigs, et cetera, et cetera. So. It's <laughs> can you tell it us where, where these work. gigs will be? Not yet. Not yet. Although, okay. I can't say yet because they haven't put out the poster. But okay. yeah, there's a gig in November with a very good friend of mine who's also a big artist here. Okay. Um, which I'm super excited about. So yeah, there's this there's, there's a there's a couple that are coming up. Okay. Okay. So you heard, um, I'm going to leave Saya's social media links, her Instagram, her Twitter in the description box. So you can go and follow her. So you can, you know, keep you to say your ear to the ground for when, um, the gigs, um, happen. So, um, on to my next question, what inspires, what or who inspires your, your art? Yeah, you're a creative, you're creating content, but then, you know, your music, basically. Yeah. If anyone has interacted with me on, especially Twitter, um, they will see that I'm socially aware when it comes to what's going on in the world. Um, you know, I think my content is, is mostly uh, news items, you know, talking about what's happening, current affairs, um, conservation, um, you know, so for me, it's human stories that inspire me a lot. Yeah. Um, hear a story about, you know, this has happened or a friend narrates something that happened and that'll inspire me, you know, to write or to come up with the concept for a song or, um, and I, I've been writing for new music. So, um, 
I, I think I, I get my inspiration from that. Sometimes you hear horrible thing that has happened in the world or news or whatever, and yeah. that inspires you to write something. So for me, it's human stories um, that inspire me, um, as well as, you know, um, nature, wildlife, the environment, you know, all of those um, inspire me. Um, if you listen to my song, Feel Good, <laughs> Love it. which is the other on the EP, um, when I heard the beat, I didn't have lyrics for it, but, you know, as we were meditating and listening to the beat on loop, the only thing I could think about was creation, yeah. you know, nature, wildlife, environment. And that's where the lyrics of that song, uh, when you hear the verse, um, inspired by, by conservation. So yeah. yeah, that's my inspiration. Okay. Uh, well, I love that you finished off by saying, um, uh, you know, um, you know, you're inspired by nature, etc. You, you guys have to, my dear viewers and listeners, you have to go to, you know, to, to say as social media. I mean, I know she's a media professional. Yes. You know, she's a content creator. So it's, it's like, it's tailored, but it, it, it makes you um, socially aware, conscious. And I like that, you know, I, I mean, I like to, to curate who I follow, who I have seen tweets from. And it's, it's really, really nice to see that you, you know, you're not, um, not, let's not say held back, but you tweet about stuff that, you know, we can relate to, you know, um, and you're not just, you know, you, you've got your music and you're making it and you're doing your work in, in, in media, but then, you know, there's, there's all these sides to you. And I love that in a way by mentioning how, um, you know, like all of these facets, all of these elements inspired your, your album. I, I really, really like that. I, that's why I like having these albums because I don't know about other people. Maybe some people just listen and dance, but I, cause I do reaction videos, you know, to albums and to music videos. So I sit and I wonder what inspired that, why that and, and this. So I love, I love the detail. I love it. I love it. Okay. So if I were to ask you, are there any artists that you are listening to right now Zambian artists like you would say okay on my playlist I have I'm not going to ask you why but if you'd like to elaborate why those or why that one maybe you can do that um I think you know that someone that's on everyone's playlist right now Zambian is Sampa the Great Ooh, um, definitely. I, I love her music I love what she's doing and um, I also have uh, Princess Natasha Chansa. Mm. Shout out to her. Yeah, She's doing great things, and you know, she dropped her music video the other day, and I'm just I'm super proud of her. I've I've been following her career from the beginning. And I find yeah. her amazing. Um, <laughs> one one song I'm laughing, I'm giggling because it's such a it's a, it's an infectious song. It's a song called Musimbi. I don't know if you've heard that song. No, no, no. Tell me. Drop, drop, drop the sauce. Drop the sauce. Sauce. <laughs> his name is Akwala. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Akwala Skin. Okay. And his name, his song, his popular song right now is called Musimbi. Okay. It's such, uh, it's an infectious song. You can't help yourself but dance. Okay. So, uh, those, as far as like Zambians, I feel, you know, those... Tio Nason, shout out to him. He just dropped a new song as well. Okay, and look at that. Look at all this. Look at this. Look at this. You see? I love it. I love I, it. I the other day I was listening to it on loop um, because it it's it it spoke to me. So um, yeah, I think I think those are are and one J too. Let me not even. I mean, yeah, one J is also um, she's doing some amazing things. Um, Auntie Mo. She, I know she hasn't released any, uh, you know, recent music. Yeah. But that woman inspires me. So Maureen that, Ilanda, for those who don't know. Yeah. Yes. I know. Oh, I'm saying it Antimo as if everybody knows her as Antimo. Um, Maureen Lupo Ilanda. I, I love her. She, okay. she's, she's a, really inspires me. And let's not forget Violet by Mumbaiachi. Like okay. that is brilliant, brilliant. Okay. piece of art i yeah. love this i love oh my gosh i love this i love i love i'm a fan of everyone you've mentioned 
So this is this is this is brilliant. Um, so thank you very much for that. Um, okay, so we're going to talk a little bit. Or I'd like to ask you about your, you know, your musical journey, your musical career. Um, how how hard or how easy has it been for you? I mean, you started off your intro and you talked about how oh I had left music and so on. So you know, tell us. You don't have to elaborate too too much if you don't want, but maybe tell us about about your your career and your journey. How hard and how easy it's been. Um, I think music for me has been a a very hard journey. Uh, in some parts, painful. Um, I think you know. Um, so some artists that I've had conversations with privately have, you know, reiterated the same thing. Like, hey, you know, you just gotta hang in there. You just, you just gotta push through it, you know? Yes, sometimes we quit, but you know, that gift and that talent, it never goes away. It haunts you. <laughs> it really haunts you. So I think for me, it, has, it hasn't been the easiest journey. Um, and maybe that's why I feel so strongly about it now. Mm. Um, I don't, I don't look at music in the same lens as I did before I quit <laughs> the last time I quit. Yeah. Um, I look at all these hard lessons as they're building my character. They're, they're, they're helping me actually draw closer to the craft um, and push through it and, there's always a way, you know, whenever I, I, I hit a wall, I'm like, look, there's always a way. Maybe take a step back a little bit, take a break, either sleep on it, pray about it, meditate, whatever you need to do, you know, go see a friend, <laughs> you know, have a conversation or whatever, and then get back to trying to solve this problem. So I think for me, it has been a very rough journey. Um, but at the same time, I'm grateful for everyone who has come alongside me and helped me. Um, you know, I, I feel very fortunate in that sense that there's been people who um, have just randomly like, hey, what, what, do you, what do you need help with? Or they would call me like, hey, I really like this song. You know, let's do something with this, 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 this. And then it gets done and like, oh, okay. Um, one of my toxic traits <laughs> is not asking for help when I need uh -huh. help. Uh -huh. And um, I'm working on that. That's something I'm working on now. Um, so I think for me, the biggest lesson has been to always reach out when I have, you know, hit a wall and like, okay, hey guys, I need your help. <laughs> I need to do this, get this yeah. done or have access to this or whatever. So I think, um, yeah, there's been some tough lessons, some tough lessons. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some people have come and some have gone and, you know, bless them. I, I wish them all the best. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a journey. I have to keep going. Yeah. I can't stop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, thanks for, uh, for opening up about, um, you know, what's, what's been difficult. Yes, you haven't delved into specifics. We don't want that, but, you know, to, to be able to share that, okay, yeah, I do this. I make my, my art. I create my art. I love my craft, but you know, there's been, there's been highs and there's been lows and, and you've shared how you, you deal with that, the reaching out to your friends and the honesty about learning how to ask for help when you need it. I love, I love how honest you have been there. Okay. So big, 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 thank you. Um, that's why I love doing these interviews because, you know, you get a little glimpse into the person you're listening to, you know? So it's always, it's an honor to have you on Bolela podcast, Saya. I, I'm a fan. I think you know, but I'm saying it again. Um, so I'm going to ask you maybe two more questions and then we can wind this off. Okay. Um, all right. So your project, please, 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 please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Zoom is telling me I have 10 more minutes. So please tell us quickly where my listeners can find your music 
so where, where they can find it by to buy as well as to stream legally because here we advocate streaming music legally um and then when you finish that just tell us quickly where you are on social media okay so my my listeners can find you okay awesome so if you want to buy the music you can buy it from bessasani.com you know because we support local yes. um you can buy that um from there and also you can you can you can find my music on iTunes you can find it on Amazon you can find it on Spotify Apple Music uh boom play deezer um you can find it on there you can find it on youtube ah. um, on my yes uh, <laughs> uh and then uh as far as social media just look for me on twitter at sayafunda funda on uh facebook sayafunda funda the artist yeah. um instagram at sayafunda funda so okay. yeah it, yep dm me let's talk <laughs> okay before i let you go very quickly i know this might be super super difficult but is do you have a favorite song on the queen ep you're like this one this this one you don't have to tell us why you love it but which one is your favorite song maybe two queen if you like itself. queen i love the title no because it's such a personal song Oh. Yeah. It talks about me. Okay. That, like yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll say queen. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um to my um viewers and listeners, I have been chatting with Saya from the Funda. She's told us about Queen, her awesome EP. If you are hiding under a rock and you haven't heard it, now's your chance. There'll be a link in the description box. Check it out and find Say I will leave links to her social media and um, you can follow her. Okay. Um, Hi, Ingutu here. That was part two of my interview with Seya Funda Funda. Thanks for listening. Make sure you check the description box for links to Vlela Podcast social media so you can get updates to all the content that I am putting out. There's written content, there is video content, there is podcast content on your favorite podcast streaming service. Make sure you subscribe and follow the podcast. Make sure that you share the links to the interviews with everyone that you know. Let's get more people listening and liking and, you know, sharing and interacting with the podcast content. Follow Boleta Podcast on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of Boleta Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.